Hello students, welcome back to classes on uh, IoT. So in the previous session, we were talking about the IoT architecture. The next topic is about the core IoT functional stack. So the core IoT functional stack, which is a layered architecture, it has got a uh, several layer. The operational IoT operational network has got a uh, uh, different layers here with respect to functional stack. First one is about the thing layer. Thing layer in the sense, see the devices. Okay. Uh, at this layer, the physical devices need to fit the constraints of the environment in which they are deployed while still being able to provide the information needed. The meaning of this is about the sensors. Okay. They are deployed at uh, various locations. That is about that is that that's what that's what called as considered as things. Uh, next is about the communication network layer. So when smart objects are not self contained they need to be uh, they need to communicate with external system right so communication network layer uh, the device to be con i mean the sensors the actuators circuits and all they need to be communicated among them or with or with the other devices okay through the communication network layer uh, this communication network layer further it can be divided into sub layers they are one is about the access network sub layer then gateway and backhaul network sublayer, network transport sublayer, and management sublayer. Network management sublayer, I mean. Uh, the, in the access network uh, sublayer, uh, so the last mile of IoT network uh, or endpoint, you can say, considered as the access network. So normally, it is a wireless, uh, it uses wireless protocol like 802.11 standards. Okay as well as it also uses LoRa. So LoRa for when we'll be discussing further in the next module. Uh, next, uh, that is about the protocol it uses, okay, access network sublayer. Then next is about the gateway and uh, backhaul network sublayer. So the common communication system organizes the multiple smart object in a given area around a common gateway, common gateway. Okay, gateway is like a channel, which is the common area for uh, data transmission, right? So the gateway communicates directly with the smart object. Uh, that is done with the help of this also gateway communication, common interface which communicates with all the smart objects which is called as gateway. So gateway and backhaul network sublayer as the second sublayer. So there are various protocols available here for uh, establishing the communication. Okay, we will be discussing about them further. Network transport sublayer. Uh, it uses the protocols like IP, uh, UDP or TCP it uses. Okay, UDP must be implemented to support the variety of devices to connect with, connect and uh, media to use. Okay, that is about the UDP and IP internet protocol is used here for network transport under network transport sublayer. Then we have management sublayer, IoT network management sublayer, uh, which has got additional protocols to place uh, proto protocols must be placed to allow the uh, head end applications to exchange the data with the sensors. Okay, the sum of the protocol like COAP and MQTT will be further discussing about them. Okay, please remember this. So, IoT network management sublayer, they are the additional uh, protocols that are implemented for exchanging of the data from the sensor. Next is about the application and analytic layer. So uh, we have the uh, this as the upper layer. An application needs to process the collected data not only to control the smart object when necessary, but make the intelligent decision based on the information collected. Okay, uh, necessary action to be taken based on the information collected. That's what application and analytic layer does. It analyzes the data and it performs the necessary task. Okay. Um, further much we will be discussing about the layers layer 1 that is things which contains the sensors and actuator circuit uh, the hardware devices physical connections uh, we are going to see here that is what layer 1 is so it has it contains battery powered or power connected uh, so sensors and actuators so power supply is required one of the basic hardware component is about the power supply Right, power supply is required. This is mandatory to drive the circuit. Uh, 
then it could be a mobile or static so this is the classification based on whether the thing should move or it should be fixed to certain location mobile or static things in the sense the sensor circuit okay sensors which is, which is to be either uh, they should be moving uh, or moving around or they should be fixed at one location then low or high reporting frequency reporting frequency triggering frequency so each and every fraction of second it monitors the real world or environment right uh, so when it should trigger when it should send the data right so that that is what uh, the classification low or high reporting frequency when the data to be reported to the uh, concerned person or authority to the uh, circuit or whoever you consider next is about the simple or rich data another classification based on the quantity of data exchanged at each report cycle okay quantity of data which is exchanged during each report cycle that is what called a simple data or rich data classification so a humidity sensor in a field may report a simple daily index value normally it start it uses the binary indexing 0 to 255 when an engine sensor may report the hundreds of parameters from temperature to pressure and all so it uses it needs to go with the rich data okay that depends on the type of the application that's it next is about the report range so this is based on the distance at which the gateway is located location from where to where it is to be reported so what is the distance data should travel next is about the object density per cell uh, so this classification is based on the number of smart object okay over the given area number of smart object like sensors number of smart objects or sensors which they are deployed per unit area that is what defined as the density okay so sensor applications based on the mobility and throughput here is a diagram uh, as you can see the ranges high mobility and high throughput is the area where in vehicle communication and infotainment uh, so infotainment con connected personal smart devices video surveillance uh, they are marked here okay um, then we we can see the another category of high mobility low throughput examples like vehicle telemet telematics fleet management battlefield communication and all another category is the low mobility high throughput so this is for digital signaling or telemedicine traffic camera connect as well as connected electronics and finally we have the category classification low mobility low throughput devices okay uh, they can be we, uh, such type of devices could be seen in industrial environmental home and retail applications like industrial like pump and motor operation uh, in environment weather sensor reporting then home application fire and safety security control and all and in retail application like vending system wash machine as well as cinema. okay these are the four categories of uh, sensor application okay high mobility high throughput application high mobility low throughput application high mobile low mobility high throughput as well as low mobility low throughput application Fine. next is about the communication network layer so communication network layer has got uh, different uh, sub layers in it as we have seen earlier uh, four sub layers it has got in it right let us see about this uh, application sorry yeah let us see about this communication network clear in the next session